Hey, what's up everyone? In this tutorial I thought it would be a good idea to show you how to convert a Python script like this into an executable program like this that you can actually run and just double click on an icon and have something pop up. Um, so when I think of a program I think of something like this, not some ugly script like this where the user would have to you know, right click edit this program with idle and manually input all the, this, this a specific directory or file that's just too much work for, for, for the average Joe. So um, I thought it'd be cool to convert this, convert your scripts into an executable, show you how to do that. Um, I only recently found out how to do this and I think it's awesome. It really, it makes me feel like a, like a programmer now that you can actually distribute programs like this. So uh, what I did was I made this simple script that just has you enter your name. So my name's Fran and the number of times you want to print your name, let's just print it 6,000 times and it'll just execute and then this will close. So that's what we're working towards. Um, that's, that's what we're going to do in this tutorial is convert something like this to uh, the executable I just had up. Where'd it go? To so this thing. Um, Alright, so how do you do that? Well, first we have to get a module called Pi Installer. Um, here's the website. And I did a lot of research into this this year, 2016, into what you know what module is the best for converting your script to a, to an, a standalone executable. Um, and in 2016, it looks like Pi Installer is the most popular, has the most support, most online support. Uh, you can just Google it and Stack Overflow um, threads come up about it. If there's any issues, there's always someone else who's probably had the issue. Um, so what we need to do is we have to install this in our Python installation. Um, so you may or may not know when you download Python, it gets by default installed on your C drive as whatever version you're using, 2.7 or 3.4. I'm using 3.4 here. It puts it on your C drive. Um, and what we're doing is we need to install something in this location. So wherever your installation is, most likely C, Python 3.4 scripts. This is where we need to install something. So to do that, there's a couple different ways, but we're going to use pip, which is a very popular way of installing modules. Uh, as you can see here, there's this pip application. So we need to, to get there, we need to open up the command prompt and change our directory to, so cd, change directory, to this directory. And you can just drag this scripts into the here uh, click enter and now in this shell we're in this uh, folder here so now we can say pip and the reason this would work this will work in this directory is because pip is installed right here if we were in a different folder it wouldn't work so you need to be in this folder pip install and just install pi installer and basically pip is smart enough to know it knows where it can find a copy of pi installer it goes out to the internet, finds it, and downloads it, and installs it, which is pretty cool. Uh, so that's what it's doing right now. Um, so if if it didn't find pit or if it didn't find something called Pi Installer, it would error out pretty quickly. But it, it already it already finished. It found it and installed it, downloaded it, and installed it. So now we'll take a look at the scripts directory again. And you can see right here, it installed some, some files here, and Pi Installer is one of them. So now, now, we have Pi, now we have the ability to convert our scripts to an executable, but we need to create a script that is, uh, is suitable to be an executable. So what I mean by that is it, it takes, it's a, it's a program like the name one I made that takes input from the user. So we'll, we're just going to make that program again, uh, start from scratch in here. And um, you may or may not know how to do this, but it, we'll just run through it real quick. Um, so to, to get the name thing to pop up, it's something called input in Python. So we're going to set a, a variable equal to, so let's just call this the name, name, name var, nah, stupid, <laughs> name input equals, and then this keyword input, and then just a little prompt. So what do you want to say? So type in your name alright so what that does we'll just run this real quick 
just type in your name and it, it's see it's not closing it's it's different than a print statement it's waiting for the user to do something to type something in so I'll type in something and now it finishes so now name inputs equal to whatever I put in now we just need the number of times the user wants to loop so we can just make a new variable called uh, loop or not just print number set that equal to input actually this is that we need to specify this needs to be an int because it, we we need a number so int then input and then we can prompt the user to how many times how many how many times would you like your name to print now I'll show you in a second why this needed to be an int because we need a number so we're gonna loop through this so for x in range now what range do we want to use we want to use what the user just gave us it's the print number so if we didn't specify oops I probably shouldn't have called that print number um, so if we didn't make this an int it would have read this as a string and this doesn't take strings it needs a number so it's, it's really convenient in Python to convert that into an int so print number and then what do we want to do so it's going to loop through this many times and we're going to have it print the name that many times so print name input so that's uh, pretty basics so we'll just run this in here to make sure it works type in your name Fran how many times would you like your name to print let's go 2000 6000 took too long 2000 all right bam all right so now this is ready to be converted into an executable um, so how do you do that we need to go back to the command prompt uh, we'll just start over to make it clear command prompt change the directory back to that script so back to where the um, so C drive Python 3.4 scripts back to where when we downloaded Pi installer where that got installed so we want to CD to scripts so now we're inside this directory and now we want to call this Pi installer.exe application basically think of it as like we want to use like we want to use this program Pi installer this itself is an executable so we're just calling this program pretty much so pi installer.exe now it takes some parameters uh, we're gonna use one file that means we want it to be one single file uh, one single file like this there's one file and then one directory which is one dir that would be um, a directory of support files that this executable needs uh, when you do one file it kind of um, builds it all into this one executable um, so we want one file sometimes one directory is better for debugging or if one file isn't working or you can't get it to work it might work with one directory uh, but most of the time one file works and then the only other parameter is the actual Python script so that's not in here anywhere that's it's wherever you have it installed or wherever you you're working on it um, so where's mine? Mine is uh, right here in this location. So I have to find that somehow. Where'd it go? Files. YouTube. All right. So this is the program. This is what we're working on in in here. So we just need to pop open this command thing again just literally just drag it in there and then click enter and if it errors out really quick that means something didn't work but if it starts doing stuff like this that means it's it's working for the most part this is all good even though it's saying warning most of the time this is okay all right and this already finished this is quick um, so it tells you where it put it Python 3 4 blah 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 so we just we're gonna browse to this location um, so I put it in that scripts folder and it made these two new folders called build and dist build is kind of where it puts temporary files as it's making it um, dist is like distribution so this is what's ready to be distributed um, so we'll just check or 
open it and make sure it works. So type in your name, Fran, number of times you want to print, let's just print it 25 times. All right, so that printed, that took, it went really fast, so that's why it closed so quick. So Fran, let's just make it 20,000. So there you go. And if we didn't want it to close so quick, another tip we can do with Python is just have it sleep. So we would need to import a, a module called time, import time, and just time dot sleep, and just put five there or ten, and this is in seconds, and then it'll just hang. The program won't close; it'll wait ten seconds. So I use that on some of my scripts just so it's not so quick like that. Uh, but yeah, that's the basics of how to convert your Python script to an executable. Um, I think I'll make another video about some other things you can do with PyInstaller, but that's the bare bones. That's, that's, uh, that's all I need to get started, so hope you guys learned something.